Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Marcelo Barria. I am currently the head of the Protein Biochemistry Laboratory at the National CJD Research and Surveillance Unit in Edinburgh, United Kingdom. The aim of this capsule is to provide a short overview and some future plans on a research proposal that we recently submitted to the CJD Foundation and they kindly fund our work. The title of our project is Assessing the Replication Properties of Prion Protein Aggregates Found in Archive Formalin Fix Paraffin Embedded Appendix Tissue Collected from the Asymptomatic Population Using a Highly Sensitive In Vitro Prion Amplification Assay. As an introduction, I would like to say that variant croifield jacob disease is a human prion disease that is related to the ingestion of meat products contaminated with a prion disease of cattle. This disease in cattle is referred as a bovine spongiform encephalopathy or BSE. Despite widespread human exposure to BSE in the United Kingdom, the number of variant CJD cases remain low, with 178 cases currently reported. However, the possibility of human-to-human -human variant CJD transmission and the uncertainty over the prevalence of asymptomatic carriers instigate three large retrospective studies in the United Kingdom. These studies, named as a Appendix 1, Appendix 2, and Appendix 3 look at, at the presence of the abnormal form of the prion protein in formalin fixed paraffin embedded appendix tissue. These studies estimate that one in 2,000 people are potential carriers of this abnormal form of the prion protein in the United Kingdom. Also, it's important to mention that a fundamental characteristic of this abnormal form of the prion protein is that it's able to replicate and preserve its anomalous shape, usually found in protein aggregate, at the expenses of the normal form of the prion protein, the PRPC. We mimic this replication process in the test tube using a method called highly sensitive protein misfolding cyclic amplification, or HSPMCA. This technique is able to replicate and detect tiny quantities of the abnormal form of the prion protein in human tissues and biological fluids. The aim of our study is to explore the nature of the abnormal prion protein aggregates found in these anonymized archive appendices to find out if they truly represent any link with human prion diseases, but particularly with variant CJD. For this project, we will be investigating particularly cases homozygous for bailing at the codon 129 of the prion protein gene, and they are linked to the Appendix 2 study. We hope to present our result at the next 2023 CJD conference, but before that, I would like to thank the people that contribute and supported our work. So hopefully see you next year. Bye.